Well, that certainly looks Chinese. Can I pick it up? Here, right there. Nice There's coin. a nice coin. Very thin. Feel it. Yeah. Characters on both it, sides. Yeah, character on both sides, right. Oh, there's another scrap, yeah. Okay, can I? Wow, there's some hole marks from, mm -hmm. from nails. We're supposed to leave it right yes, here. Yes, we're supposed yes. to leave it right here. Because one time I picked it up and walked, you said, got to leave it right here, right? So at sites like Donner's Summit, uh, railroad construction camps that were occupied by Chinese workers, we find evidence of their workday, including uh, shovels and other hand tools, but we also find evidence of their, their domestic life so these are typical of the types of ceramics that we find on sites like this. Okay. Um, and these are four flowers pattern. Well, this is amazing to see this because they look, they look so familiar to me. They look like the kind of bowls I'd see in San Francisco Chinatown and the restaurants. But this is uh, 160 years old, maybe 150. It's just remarkable. It's just beautiful. And there's a the peach. There's a the peach, which is for longevity. And then we have evidence of other goods being imported from China, including um, sauce pot. Well, this is a, a soy sauce pot. I recognize this from an artifact in the San Jose Chinatown. And it was found actually just a part of it. This is great to see a big, the whole, practically the whole jar. And then we also have um, a liquor bottle that's been modified. They cut the top off and ground it smooth. So it's been repurposed for another use. Well, possibly. It could have been used as a water jug, you know, and they drank out of it. And what um, it held was what we call ungape, a very fiery Chinese liquor. Another item we commonly find on sites like these are these gaming pieces. Um, they're used as counters and as markers in a variety of games. Oh yes, also they can be chips. Mm -hmm. This is a bone toothbrush, it would have had uh, hair bristles and we know that hygiene was one of the things that set the Chinese workers apart from their non-Chinese counterparts on the railroad. Well, for sure the Chinese took a lot of sanitary measures and I bet you they brushed their teeth using boiled water and they drank only boiled water they drank tea they had a tea carrier who'd bring them tea when they were on the job because uh, they knew that if they drank water from the creek they would get sick they would get dysentery or cholera but they kept uh, their health um, by drinking boiled water and brushing their teeth with boiled water. And uh, one of the other common items we find at a lot of these camps along the line is uh, can fragments because they were shipping in all their food products from uh, Sacramento and elsewhere because there wasn't really anything available locally or not much. There would be uh, a freight car that would come to, to one uh, point, a railhead, and it would be like a store and it would be stocked uh, with rice, dried mushrooms, vermicelli, dried fish, uh, and also replacement bowls and chopsticks and things like that. 